Swimming World TV here with Mike Bottom at the Eastern States Coaches Clinic. This weekend you're focusing in on anaerobic and aerobic conversations. What are you going over with the coaches this year? Well, it's interesting that uh, we're working on anaerobic, the anaerobic side of things. And, and my old life was all anaerobic and now my new life is all aerobic. Uh, and, and it's fun to, to revisit the anaerobic side of things and, and to talk about that and how the transition happened. So, speaking of that transition, what types of things are you uh, helping the coaches understand? Are you, what types of training are, are you finding that are more important? A lot of a lot of the things that I'm relearning and, and things that I'm learning with Mark Hill, one of our our great coaches at Michigan, and Dr. Josh White, both of them on either side of the spectrum of the aerobic side and the anaerobic side. Uh, and so, what I'm what I'm trying to do is just. Uh, kind of echo some of their thoughts, some of our thoughts as we discuss in our coaches meeting and, uh, and put it into practical terms. What advice do you have for coaches when, when you have a full team of swimmers from sprint to distance and now you're pushing anaerobic, how do you, how do you change that for the different groups of athletes? I think everybody needs to do all of it. All right? uh, Connor Yeager swims 25s at the end of our, our practices and, uh, and Bruno Ortiz, who's our best 50 guy, swims a lot of yardage. And I think that as they uh, learn more about the techniques and, and actually the, the, uh, the training type understanding, uh, they get better in whatever they're doing. What are some types of sets that you find yourself repeating on a regular basis? 25s. 25s? <laughs> I think a lot yeah, of athletes would like that. 25s, yeah. Okay. Uh, if you had one bit that you want these coaches to walk away from this weekend, what, what do you want them to remember from your talks? What I would hope is they would pick up some things that, that are mentioned and, and some of the techniques that are there and begin to be creative within themselves because everybody's got their own program, everybody's got their own athletes. I, d I don't come in here with all the answers. I come in here hopefully creating a lot of questions and, and giving them the confidence that they can, they can answer some of those questions. What keeps bringing you back to these conferences to speak, especially when you're in such a busy period with recruiting and the season in full swing? I feel a responsibility. I think that, that Michigan has continues to teach me of, of an understanding of giving back. Uh, and I've, I've gotten so much from so many great coaches in my life, uh, starting out with you know, George Haynes as, a, as was my high school coach, and, and then I could just name hundreds of coaches, right? And, and, and then there's a select ten that, that I got a lot out of. And I, I feel like it's, it's my, uh, it's my um, privilege to kind of share some of those things that I've learned from them and some of the things that, I, that I've learned myself. There's always great speakers here, and sometimes you have the opportunity to listen to Dave Marsh and Todd Schmitz and the other coaches that are here. What are you continuing to learn from these guys? Or uh, as education continues to evolve, what are you picking up from them? Well, David Marsh is a great, he's one of my mentors as, as I went and coached at Auburn for a lot of years. We, we worked together, and I... Uh, I love listening to him. He's talking a little bit about communication and, and how you communicate. And, and I wrote down a lot of notes and, uh, and his technique drills and some of the things that he's working with at, at SwimMac. Great. Well, glad you're here. Thanks for sharing. Yeah.